wake up service. Good morning, ma'am. Do you need assistance? Oops, she fell over. Nope, she's up. She's off. Look at her go. What a speed demon. Good morning. The prime lines had finally started lambing, as you can see. So they are starting to get quite heavy, and that means they're getting top heavy. So lots of flips, lots of sick flips and tricks. I think everyone else in the paddock is okay though, so next paddock. As I was in here checking these, here they comes these bitches through the fucking fence. Or through the gate, not through the fence. Oh, fucking nuisances. You nuisances. I guess I'm going to have to shut the gate between this paddock and the other paddock when I go through now. Love it. The car was making a sound. Ah. Oh. Okay, the belt has come off. Just there. All right, I'll have to take the car back to the shed and get it fixed. Something's burning. Oh, it is on fire. Where? In there. Yeah, oh yeah. It's hot, really hot. We need water. It's annoying. <laughs> So what happened there, when, as I was driving back, the, typo, come on, typo, the engine temperature flew up, and then because of all the shit and grass and everything that gets caught, hang on, I can't see, and then because of all the grass and stuff that gets caught in the engine as you're driving through the paddock, you know, when it gets hot, We'll light it up. 788, 89, 90, 91, 90. 132. There's one over there too. The reason I'm counting all the sheep in the paddock is because we have recently moved to a new app for the farm. So what a lot of big commercial farms are doing now, even some smaller hobby ones, they're putting their farms on an app so you can count how many uh, how many sheep you've got, your natural birth increases, your casualties your chemicals, um, anything put on crops can be recorded. So you got your spray records, all of the important shit you need to have legally and for production. This is the hill we've got to get up. Um, because the grass is slippery, I'm gonna probably, I'll have to go in four wheel drive at least. Like, it doesn't really show on camera how steep it is. Trust me, it's fucking steep. I'd like to do a shot where I'm going up the hill to try and show you, but that means I'd have to walk back down and get the camera. Oh, thank God it is. You're probably thinking, why didn't I just drive the ute back down to, you know, come and get the camera? Because this hill, the reason is because this hill's so steep, when it's wet, you fucking slide. You got no brakes coming down this hill if the grass is wet. Did you enjoy your sit? counted these ewes we've got 86 in here the last merino paddock i've got to check is this one so we'll scoot around them the rav is back in commission after a minor blip i've switched back because this is a better car to drive um what happened that belt that fell off was unrelated it's power steering and we took that off because it's not working, so we just took a belt off. Turns out it just, it, we've got a coolant leak and we can't find it, so we've filled it back up again and we'll see where it leaks. I've added our whopping nine cows to the app now. Watch out, we're ranchers. I'll add the six Dorsets and the Aussie White. They're meant to be in there. They'll go back under the fence down here when they feel like it. 
I can see you, sir. I was about to check these ones. They were last on my list. But apparently we're marking them now. Bucko is hyped out of her pants for this. Nope, we're out of gear. We're in gear. Go, sluggy, go! Mark as girl and boys. The girls might get a, an injection called Gadir. Gardier, not Gardier, take care. No, it's not hair. It must be Gadir. I don't know, it's irrelevant. They get that. Oh. Just need them too. Good girl, that was good. I thought she was gonna back down there, but she did not. Good slugs. So the girls get that and they get their tags in their left ear, which means they're being kept. Um, right ear is the boys ear tags and they don't have the V and there that means they, they're going for meat. Should be able to just bring them along this fence. So here are all the climb lines here. You can stay in the yard, that'd be great loves. Ewes I think are gonna be drenched, lambs obviously marked. Um, I wanted to talk about tails. We dock the tails with rings because, lambs put his head through the fence, We dock the tails with the rings because it prevents stuff like fly strike. This is what the normal ear tags look like. And this is the ear tags with the V. Here are my tag piles. I'm showing you from a distance because we've got our names on our tags. It's over, Velociraptor, go. Toto, in here. Come on, get in here. Come on, Sluggy. Good girl, good Velociraptor. Good girl. Typo, come on, Typo. Typo, come on. Good girl, good girl. Good girl, good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. So apparently the slug union's strong, so she's back. Filming for me again. I don't know why you want this content. She's not very good at filming, but I need my phone. So this is the options we've got. Let me know if you want more slug content. <laughs> we need to put all of the drenches into the app and you can have it so uh, it automatically um, implements your withholding period onto your stock that have been drenched. Typo, come. Sit. Typo, sit. Thank you. So here are our drenches. Unsure how good you can see them. Typo, stand. Typo, stand. Okay, lays fine too. Here are our drenches. So I need to work out how to add this again. There we go. Right, so we've got the new thing. The chemical name is Batch ID. I'll take a picture of what I'm looking at just in case slug cam's not very good. I mean, you're perfect, slug. You'll be okay. Um, amounted arrival. Fuck, how much is here? T stay there. 10 litres. 10, 20, 30, 40. All right, we've got 70 litres of this. I think we probably bought 100, but that's what we got. Right, withholding period. So what we're looking for on this is there we go restraints do not use on oh, yep 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 precautions yep 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 somewhere on here there will be a do not use within blank here it is his poisonings trade advice here it is export slaughter interval is gone do not use less than 10 days so this is a 10 day one I think we've got to put withholding period 10 days. I assume that's what WHP means. ESR. There. All right, so we put 10. Wool. I imagine not a problem. May not use on sheep which are producing or may in the future produce milk for human consumption. Good to know. That doesn't fucking help me though, does it? When did we receive this? I don't know. That's, that's their problem to 
Dad can work that out. He's got the invoice for that. All right, expiry. 24th of the first 25. And then we add, and there it is. Excellent, vet, mech. Is that an I or a one? It's an I. Here, withholding period, do not use 14 days before slaughter for human. Typo. No one's gonna wanna watch the camera on this sort of angle. I, I, I need it like this. Yeah. Do not use less than 14 days before meat withholding period at your export slaughter interval is 28 days. So this one's a different one. Very exciting. I'm oh, sorry. Forgot to use slug cam. Next one is this one. I don't know why kilograms is the default. It really shouldn't be. Come in here. Come here. Come in here. Right, stop. Thank you. Right, next is this one. It's, there's a thing you put on so sheep don't get fly strike. What have we got on the back of this? Um, slaughter interval. Long wool, 60 days before. 120 days if the sheep have six weeks wool or less. And with meat period is 28 days. Thank you, Typo. You uh, do not have me in frame. Typo, come with me. This is a fucking mess. Good air, what have we got? We've got 250 mil. I think there's already one out there. We'll say we've got one. Hey, 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 stay there. Right, next one. This one, I think we got like 20 of these. Tazbats, five in one. Very important one. There we go. Isn't that done? Come. Our last treatment. Right, Typer. Stop. Right. Viper. Come here. Typer, I am not even in frame. Come, come, come. Good girl, slugs. Good girl. Right. Maybe it's on the other side. No, not you. Me. I thought I'd show you while I'm going past because they're brewing at the moment. They are the bugs. I was saying about how you put the bugs out, how we put the bugs out on the pastures and the crops to improve their growth and the sheep's growth. That's how they're made. They're brewed in there. More than a woman, more than a woman to me. Just traded for the ranger. I am going to go put the feed cart on and fill it up trailer is on put some beans in it because dad wants them to know what beans are because those lambs will all be going on bean stubble by the end of the year a nightmare's trauma that hasn't been dealt with i don't feel any better all right let's open the bloody thing up oh you motherfucker <laughs> oh. oh there's no battery so that doesn't work anymore fair enough fair enough This is a barley and corn mix. High in protein, good for growing lambs. Let's go check if the silo over there, if the bean silo has an auger in it. We can put beans in the back. If not, we'll wait after doing it tomorrow. Have a good sit. She's very tired after all her camera work. No auger in the bean silo by the looks of it. No shit. It's just checking how many beans we've got. We've got some beans. We definitely have some beans. I'll head back now. Thanks for watching. Subscribe or typo will eat your beans. What's up members? We're in my home garden today. Family's house tonight and I was always taught to not turn up empty handed.